I'm going to show you how to install a second serial ATA drive into a Power Macintosh G5 system. Start by removing the front door on the machine. Now you do not have to remove this air baffle. I'm only removing it because it is going to glare with the video camera. The unit has one serial ATA drive installed in it right here in the top bay from the factory and a provision for a second drive from the factory. Start by removing these four screws. They are put there so you can utilize those to install the second drive. Apple includes all screws and all cables that you need for the second drive to be installed. The serial ATA drive that I'm going to install is a Hitachi DeskStar 250 gig drive. Take the four screws that you removed and insert them into the front and back screw holes on the drive on each side. Then take the drive and you simply insert it in the bottom most set of cutout detents. And it slides in fully. Right here are the serial ATA data cable and power cable. All you have to do is wiggle those out of their retaining slot from Apple's shipping location and plug them onto the serial ATA drive. They only go one direction, and you barely need to remove any cable length at all. So they stay nice and tucked in neatly. Once you've done that, you can replace the air baffle that you didn't need to remove in the first place. And place the front door back on the unit and lock the door. That's all it takes to install a secondary serial ATA drive into a Power Macintosh G5 system.